Hey guys, what's up? It's Megan here. Uh, I received the box about two weeks ago from Muscle and Fitness, um, and that pretty much want me to do like a biased, I mean a non-biased review of the products that they sent. Um, so it took me two weeks because, like I said, I was doing this thing where I was only eating whole foods and I didn't want to try any supplements for a while until my four weeks were over. So my four weeks were finally over last week, so I was able to try these out. Uh, I pretty much try to take like one every two days. Uh, uh, pretty much how, how I rate these is based on taste, to be honest. Uh, protein is pretty much just protein, right? Monster milk, uh, more protein, right? Uh, a protein shake bottle, and by now I have like 20 of those things for you know all the stuff that's subscribers I need. Protein bar and like a few pre workouts, right? So the protein, I pretty much rate them on taste and on like the 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 content of the, you know how much protein is in it because you can't really taste you can't really rate the protein on how it's working in a matter of weeks or days you can't be like I took this protein shake and I think that's what gave me my my bicep peak or whatever so pretty much based on taste um so the two things that I didn't I didn't take actually the three things that I didn't take I'm probably gonna make a later video showing you guys how it works is one is I can't pronounce this thing you know Beast is called amphitelin, whatever. It's a burn body fat. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna take that when I'm probably cutting. I'm gonna take that now. I'm still bulking. Um, the next one I didn't take is another thermogenic, you know, that I'm also gonna take when I'm cutting. So, I'm gonna give a review of that later on. And this shit right here, uh, I have no idea what it is. So, the stuff that I'm not giving a review on, if you guys are already familiar with it, be, um, be kind enough to write down your review in the comment section and let everybody else um, hear from you. So, on this one, I didn't take no sugar, whatever this is. Um, the the Riptech V2, I didn't take yet. So, if any of you guys took it, comment below. And this one right here. But I did take the protein ball. I mean, that's the first thing I hopped on. Um, out of five, I give it a four. Four out of five as far as taste. Uh, and that's, and that's biased because I like I like peanut butter. So, it has this peanut butter crisp. Tastes pretty, you know, tastes pretty good. It's not much different than other protein balls as far as taste. It still have that like, you know, that artificial flavor to it. But um, you get a lot of protein. You get uh, 28 grams of protein in this one ball. So that's like a protein shake right there. So four out of five. Um, the only reason why it's not five out of five is because I just don't like that that artificial flavor that it has. But um, a lot of you guys might give it a five. This one right here, I actually loved it. Um, Hexa Pro. Uh, and I, once again, I loved it because it's cookies and cream. I love the flavor. For its protein, it had 25 grams of protein. And I actually I actually like this one because, like I said, I, I went four weeks without taking any supplements, any protein shakes. So I kind of missed, at the point, at the time when I took this, I, had, I was kind of missing the taste of protein powders. So, you know, that might affect my judgment. So I give this a five. I give this a five. Five out of five. I like this. I, I had no complaints about the taste. Um, the next one here which was my favorite until I took the other one was monster milk the only problem with that was it's not really a problem with this one it's what I did I forgot that it says monster milk right and I put it in milk so it came out really really thick I was on my way to work and I just put that in like a bunch of milk and I didn't even put a lot of milk so it was really really thick so it took me so long to cut this down um, so that's what decreased the rating to like a 4 out of 5 probably not I'm gonna give this a 3.5 out of 5 because you can't put it in milk really you put it in milk it becomes too thick and I don't like taking protein shakes with water. So 3.5 out of 5. As far as taste, I'll give this a 5 for taste. It tastes great. But it's losing points for, to me because I can't use it with milk. And that's what I like taking most of my protein shakes with. So yeah, thank you Muscle and Fitness for the free supplements. I'm, I will always say yes to this shit. I mean, always. Even even if I'm not, even if I stop taking protein shakes in the future, feel free to send me supplements. Anything that's free warms my fucking heart. Alright guys, so here's a quick megan review and um comment below let me know if you took any of these things let me know what you guys feel about it i'm pretty sure um i'm hoping it's in different stuff next time but uh yeah all right guys hope this helps man take it easy oh and thanks for the free protein shake bottle i think that was the best one out of everything you guys just sent me looks really cool all right guys black's my favorite color by the way